Hi everyone, Reginald Conga back. Yes, back again, once again. For the 87th time. I yeah. actually don't know. That's just a random Did you number. count the number of videos we have on the channel? No. Okay, I just want that's, to make sure. That, because that's, I... that's literally what I just said. <laughs> I just guessed the random number. Okay, well, uh, I think we actually have fewer than that, but anyway. We like, probably do, because we, I believe... We're so slow at these, like, this bullshit. Yes. Can mm -hmm. we, uh... I won't be... Something like... I wouldn't be surprised if we had, like, more cancelled videos than uh, actual videos. <laughs> no, not that bad, but, um... I, I, I'm actually recovering from, like, spring allergies... Not spring, uh, fall allergies... You know, so like my, I'm sorry if it sounds fucking weird when I talk or something. I don't know how I sound today. Like, fall allergies, so, because in that, there's not normally a lot of pollen and stuff in fall, is there? Well, I don't so know, what... it's, I think it's the weather. Alright, it's just, it gets cold and it makes you all stuffy and shit. I don't know the exact details, I just know that when, well... I have spring allergies, I know for a fact, but like, it's either that or my flu shot, and I hate to blame it on the flu shot. Because mm. I, yeah. I, I had just gotten one, like, the day before Halloween or something. Because it's mm. free, you know, with insurance, proof of insurance. Well, some some people can't yeah. get that for free, because their insurance is, like, from... I don't remember the details, but anyway. I believe uh, my local GP does a... Free uh, flu shots and stuff, but it's like a limited amount. Like uh, it's the elderly oh, and like disabled first, yeah. and then uh, yeah, like everyone else can get that it. That reminds me, like how do like prescriptions and plastic surgery and shit work in the UK? Well, obviously not plastic surgery, but you know how does that work in the UK where healthcare is supposed to be free? Well, um, prescriptions is if you're um still in education or oh sorry. Um, prescriptions is if you're still in education or you are on benefits, you get prescriptions absolutely free. But if you're earning um, a certain amount, you have to pay for your own um, uh, prescriptions. Okay. Well, how does it work if you have something that's not technically necessary, like, you know, antidepressants? Because I have antidepressants and, like, some people would deem that not necessary. Well, like, the government that... to pay for uh, I believe like mental health is becoming quite a bit bigger in um, yeah. the UK, so uh, that's still like it. It come under um, like um, a priority sort of thing, so you may get that free, but it'd be a case by case basis, depending on how severe it is. Alright, alright. And for plastic surgery, um, no, I know, I, believe... I know that's not free, but alright, I was gonna say yeah. Yeah, because I, I, believe... I, I only brought it up because I know for a fact that's going to be one of the things that's not covered by free health care. Well, if it's plastic surgery that you need, like if you're struggling to breathe through your nose and you need plastic surgery to like... Oh, okay. Um, know you know, if it's like medically necessary, like skin grafts... Or if, like, if you severely burnt rips yourself. your face off and you need to get it placed back on. Yes, exactly. Or if you have like breast cancer or something and oh, you dear. need... Uh, surgery for it to be removed and then okay. yeah. uh, stuff that, like that. I didn't know all that stuff counted as plastic surgery. I thought plastic surgery was just if you wanted to look better. No, it's like most people think like Botox and like um, implants and stuff, but there are other stuff that falls under plastic surgery that is. This is getting quite political, you know. Yes, it is. We should probably talk about Mario for a minute. Um. Do you think Mario needs some plastic surgery? Or do you think that's how he stays young? I, I think he's already, like, gotten a lot of plastic surgery. He barely looks like the humans in this game. Mm, yeah, you think, uh... Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto takes him down a dark alley and, uh... You know. Get some work done on him. Mm-hmm. Can we, uh... Can we talk about that time, like, in the early days, he wasn't actually called Jumpman, he was called Mr. Video? And Shigeru yes. Miyamoto wanted him to appear in all of his games, like all yeah. of Shige Shigeru Miyamoto's he was, games. He was in like that's how like Mario gets like shit tons of jobs, like being the referee or yeah. being uh, the score counter or. He's on the cover of NES Golf. Yeah. 
And uh, what I was going to say was he was inspired by Alfred Hitchcock because Hitchcock would always make a cameo in his th- films. Yeah. Like in The Birds, he's at the beginning and he like, I only watched this for film class, but in the beginning of The Birds, he's like t- walking these two dogs at the very beginning. And I was so proud of myself for knowing that he appeared, he cameos in all his films and I caught that. Mm. So I, yeah, I was that's cool. It was going to bother me the whole film and I would just wouldn't know if he would. But anyway. Mm-hmm. So are we ever going to get the South Park to stick a truth on this channel? Um, tell you what, first. tell you what, if we're still doing this in 50 years time, <laughs> uh, you can beat me to death with South Park stick a truth. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, what else should we talk about? Because we got a bunch more video to cover. We got like 10 more minutes or something. Yes, we do. Um, we could talk about Christmas that is coming up. Hopefully, it'll, this video will come out before Christmas. Like, we're in November I hope now. so. Fucking hell. Um, uh-huh. Christmas, um, I'm having to get my Nintendo Switch repaired. Uh, oh yeah, because, yeah, you told me why. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it like I, I'm gonna have to get it repaired and shit. So uh, yes, I was actually worried last night that it wouldn't be covered because the warranty was expired. And then I read it a little more mm-hmm. carefully, and it said, you know, that the warranty would make it free or something. But like, the, you don't need it to pay the hundred dollars to get it fixed completely. You know. Yeah, like um, <laughs> I had some uh, troubles with a controller the other day because I bought a controller a ps4 a new ps4 controller for my sister yeah. but um it wouldn't retain its charge so it, it would only charge. ever work when it was plugged in so i w- yeah so um i ended up getting it replaced but um originally they'd give me a, like a six month warranty thing but then when i got it replaced they changed it to like a 14 day warranty that's weird. bullshit like yeah but point being, she's got a controller now that works, so that's the main I'm, thing. I'm sorry, is this for someone else? I thought you said it was for you. No, it was for my sister. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever asked, like, about your family specifically, like, who how, how old your sister is and shit. Well, I'm the youngest out of uh, six. Oh, never mind. You have, you have five brothers and sisters? Uh, I have, A, I have two steps. Oh, fuck. I didn't know your family was that big. Uh, and I have a shit ton of cousins, too. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm, well, it's, mm-hmm. like, it's like Casually Explained says, my grandmother had... No, my great-grandmother had, like, five kids. Actually, it was more like nine, but... My great-grandmother had nine kids. My grandmother had, you know, uh, four kids or something. And my mom had three kids. And I'm finally going to put an end to it once and for all. Hmm. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm kidding. That's not actually how the family tree works. But, you know, you, you get the idea. Yeah, I get the idea. Uh, yeah, um, so Christmas is hectic for me because I have a lot of stuff to buy for a lot of people. Yeah, so I'm I sure. have to start um, Christmas shopping early. Do you, can, you affo- can you afford to have a, that large a family because you're, like, rich in the UK? Or is this, like... No, it's I'm just, um... I was just teasing you. Right, fair enough. If there's enough, like... A lot of people I know have like a lot smaller families. Mario's it's just fast. my you family's out, weird. You've been out a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. I guess. I don't know why. Internet's been spotty where I am. I don't yeah, know if it's, it's because of it's, the... Uh, uh, should we mention the fireworks that may or may not be happening behind you or whatever? Uh, like, it's gone off a couple of times, but I'm not sure if the mic has caught it because it's basically either. almost... It's almost bonfire night, the bonfire. 5th of November, I was what you were saying and that means people like setting up fireworks. Do you ever think about how, like, um, I was going to make a really dumb joke, like explosions or something, but mm-hmm. I, I, I can't, I couldn't think of one fast enough, and I just chickened out, you know. I yeah, I mean, just to, ex- just to explain what, um, a bonfire night is for the 
non-English people. It's basically like English uh, 4th of July, except for instead of celebrating freedom and stuff, we celebrate burning a man alive. Burning a man alive? What? Yeah, Guy Fawkes tried to blow, uh, blow up uh, Parliament, and then he got uh, burned is that who on a bonfire. Is that who Guy Fawkes is? Guy Fawkes, yeah. I thought he was like the. I thought he was just a mascot for Anonymous. No, he's a real life person who died, who basically got tortured and um, killed, and that's that why we celebrate. That sounds really like not something you would want to celebrate. Well, um. I mean, I don't Guy want to talk because like there's a lot of racism in the history of the United States, but you get the idea. Yeah, I mean, Guy Fox wasn't a terrible person. At the end of the day, he was okay. doing what he was doing for the people and sort of thing. Okay. And, like, uh, he uh, he ended up sacrificing himself to save all his friends and stuff. And, like, even when he was tortured for, like, three days straight or something like that, he didn't give up any information. That's incredible in a way. Yes. Uh, that kind of reminds me of John McCain, who ran for president once. I'm not sure if he's still alive, but he, like, uh, he was tortured by the enemy troops. I can't remember which war it was. I think it might have been Vietnamese, but I can't remember. But they, mm -hmm. like, they beat the, they, he, they asked him for information, and, uh, he gave it to him, and then after deciphering it for, like, ten days or something, they realized it was the lineup for a basketball team, and they beat the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, there was an, he said he was allowed to go home, but he refused because the other people had to go home before the people who got there before he did or whatever. Mm. I, I'm I'm kind of impressed that he did that. that yeah, I, I would have just gone home, you know. I mean, I, mean, I, I think I, most people would have. Yeah, most people would have. Yeah. It would have been like, well, yeah. no reason for us all to suffer, you know. Uh, why are we talking about war stuff, like, in, Mar in a Mario Be game? Uh, because Mario has fought in more wars than we know about. He's in the Middle East right now. Mm. See, deserts and shit? Never mind, it was a dumb joke. Um. Uh, do you want to know something funny? What? Uh, the Rugby League was having their, um... Uh, finals yeah. in uh, Japan oh, this I know about this. past week. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, the last two people, the last two people, the people in the finals were South Africa and England. Uh, anyway, to cut the story short, um, I'm half South African and half English. Oh, so literally, okay. I could not lose. Okay, because I was about to say, like, I heard that it like canceled, got uh, an episode of My Hero Academia delayed in Japan because of the rugby finals or whatever. Yeah. It was like a, um, but uh, yeah, it kind of runs through that episode. That not the episode. There was a real life situation where Matt Groening, uh, his two shows, Simpsons and Futurama, were both on that night. I think it was the least as a Buddhist episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and like he. What, and he said that no matter what it, what happened, he was going to lose. Yeah. When he won that Emmy. I think it was an Emmy. Anyway. It was like... There was this TV show or episode or whatever of like... Like back when Samurai Jack was running. And they someone said, well, we always lose the Emmy to Samurai Jack. And the host was like, what's Samurai Jack? What the hell is that? Is that a real show? And I'm like, oh my gosh, you fucking scrub. Get good, son. He later got uh, jumped by um, five samurai in the uh, alleyway walking home. Oh, I thought you were going to say he actually got jumped in real life. No. Okay. Jokey as long joke. As he didn't fucking get I mean, he might have got that. jumped in his life, but uh, I don't know about no, it. I mean, like, because of that joke, I thought you were going to say a bunch of Samurai Jack fans like beat the shit out of him. There you go. Yeah, there I go. I got mm -hmm. the fucking, uh, I got the seeds so I can get them more moons or something. I don't fucking know. Yep. I think I go because, for too many uh, moons in this playthrough. It's been, like, forever. I don't know because I wasn't there when you were recording it. 
Yeah, I, I, yeah. I was in a different country. Yeah, you were. Mm -hmm. Our friendship breaks the, the fucking uh, boundaries of space. Yes. The space between my butt cheeks. <laughs> That's a really simple joke, but I kind of like it. Mm hmm. Uh. What's that? You're only missing two moons for this area. Uh, um. I, I, I think I'm just. I think I have like four. Oh, oh, you mean I'm missing two moons. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was a little confused at first. I don't know mm -hmm. when the fuck I'm gonna go into that fucking next, like, dungeon or whatever. Uh. I don't know why I, like, I was 17th time, of I was February 2021. What'd you mm -hmm. say? Uh, just, you said when are you gonna go into that, uh, oh, dungeon? Okay, I was okay, like, okay. 17th you of cut February. I out there for, like, a minute or something, and I was, like, trying to figure out, like, what you said. Oh yeah, I finally, uh, since we got a pair the other day, I finally, uh, pre-ordered a Pokemon Shield. Aw, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. I think that, I think the hate is overhyped and I don't like the looks of the game, but I think I'm finally comfortable in saying that I, well, I fucked that jump up, but I think I'm finally comfortable in saying that I'm just not a fan of the current direction of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, but, it's, um... it's better than fucking bitching about it all the time, you know, I think I... I think I needed to come to terms with that. I'm 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 a I'm a poke haul. You are, you're a dirty little bitch. Mm-hmm. I won't even deny it. Apart from let's go, I didn't even touch that with a six foot pole. Um So I'm, I'm a whore with go. standards. So you, did you say you didn't go for Pokemon Go or besides Yeah, I, I I didn't get a let's go. Oh, you didn't get Let's Go? Oh, no. why, why didn't you get it? It was a yellow remake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but... I have my standards. I'm a whole with yeah, standards. Yeah, you need, you, need, you need Raichu in that game, you know. Anyway, we're coming to the end now. You need Raichu, fucking... Anyway, um... Goodbye. Yeah, we are coming to the end. Goodbye, everyone. Fucking hell.